Hi, today we're going to solve this trigger equation sine 2 theta equals to half uh, for theta between 0 degrees and 360 degrees. So let's write down the following equation in the first place. Sine of 2 theta equals to half. Okay, so we solve for 2 theta and let's bring the sine to the right hand side of the equal sign so it will become sine of inverse of half okay sine inverse of half so before we proceed we like to take a look at the bounds given so in this case the theta is between 0 to 360 degrees but we are actually looking for 2 theta so in this case we should actually express this as 2 theta and to do that, we need to multiply the left bound by 2. So 0 multiplied by 2 is actually 0 degrees. And 360 degrees multiplied by 2, we will get 720 degrees. Okay, so this will be the bounds that we actually uh, to look for. So to solve this uh, 2 theta, let's uh, do the sine inverse of half. So we will get 30 degrees. Okay. So for 30 degrees, we are actually looking out for the first quadrant, okay? So 30 degrees for the first quadrant. And if we notice that for positive of sine, okay, it is also possible to get the other angle that is, in this case, the second quadrant. So to get the second quadrant, we will get to have 180 degrees minus 30 degrees in this case. Okay, so we have the second quadrant that will also yield the same positive half result. So let's continue for the third possible value. So in this case, it's also in the first quadrant, but we have to rotate by one round. Okay, so one round. So in this case, what we'll get is 360 degrees plus 30 degrees in order to get the third value. And for the very last value, it will be the second quadrant, but we will have to rotate by total of one round as well. So in this case, what we'll get is 360 degrees plus 180 degrees minus 30 degrees. Okay, so let's simplify this whole set of values. So 30 degrees, 2 theta is equals to 30 degrees, followed by 180 degrees minus 30 degrees will have 150 degrees. Okay, the third value is 360 degrees plus 30 degrees is 390 degrees, followed by 360 plus 180 minus 30 degrees will have 510 degrees. So these are the four values that actually correspond to your 0 to 720 degrees bounds that we have derived earlier. So to finally sum up the question, let's solve for theta. So theta, therefore, theta is equal to bring the 2 over, so divide all the right hand side values by half. So we'll get 30 divided by 2 is 15 degrees and 150 degrees divided by 2 is 75 degrees. 390 degrees divided by 2 is 195 degrees and finally 510 degrees divided by 2 is 255 degrees. So these are our final values for theta.